Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Leaf to Leaf at Home. I'm Justin Hall, and today we'll be talking to my buddy Erasmus Sandin. Um, so let's get him on the line here. Let's see if we can find him real quick. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I'd just like to, um, again, say stay indoors if you can. Uh, it's really important through this whole process that we respect what the medical professionals are telling us. So stay indoors. We'll keep connecting with you, and we'll do our best to stay engaged and, and get through it together. So um, hopefully everyone's adhering to the rules, and we'll get through this a little bit faster um, than not. So let's see if we can find Sandy on the request here. I'm seeing a lot of other requests. Uh, I'm not seeing Erasmus Sandine. Maybe one of these times we're going to have to grab someone from these requests and just interview them. All right, Sandy. Let's see. Hey, Tristan. How you doing? Thank you for your message. Uh, Dad, see, 1977 says 1967. What's up, Sandy? How you doing, Sandy? Good to see you, Sandy. Good to see you too, Holsey. How are you doing, Holsey? I'm good, Sandy. How are you, Sandy? I'm great, Holsey. Nice to see you, Holsey. Long time no see, Holsey. Yeah, no, no kidding. <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's been too long, Sandy. 100%. 100%. How are you doing? Good, bro. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Kind of bored, so where but are you at right pretty now? good. Are you in Sweden? Yeah, back in Sweden. Um, back home in uh, back home in Uppsala. So uh, it's pretty oh, nice. pretty nice to be back home, though. God's country, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, love the country for sure. <laughs> so, are you with your parents, or what's going on? Yeah, so they're out of the cottage right now. So I got got the place by myself. So it's pretty nice. Ooh, what a treat! Is your brother there or no? Yeah, he's here actually. He's here. He's just so we're getting uh get it, we're moving into another place here soon. So um oh, he's out nice. there. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. You live with Willie in the summer, right? Yeah, I live with him a bit. I live with him a bit. So they got places in Stockholm, so I usually go live with them for a bit. Very nice. Your hair's looking nice, high and tight. It's crazy, crazy yeah. quarantine haircut, you know? Exactly. You don't see a lot of high and tight haircuts in quarantine. I know. I had to do something about it, so I just yeah. took the shaver out and just fixed it. <laughs> well, I tell you, you nailed it. You look great. Thanks, bro. You too. You too, as hey, always. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it, Sandy. <laughs> um, so what's your favorite things to do with your brother? You guys, at least you guys get to hang out together. That's nice. What do you guys like to do together? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was a long time I saw him ago. Like, it, last time I saw him was probably, I don't know, last summer. So, yeah. Um, yeah. well, for now, we're Pretty much just like last couple of days has been great weather here. So we're just yeah. trying to hang out in the backyard or something like that, trying to just enjoy the sun and just doing some outdoor activities, kicking some soccer and, and that kind of stuff to each other. But that's about Absolutely. it. Work on your Super Bowl game a little bit or what? <laughs> yeah, I need that. I need that. So I'll try and to, <laughs> yeah. try and to. Yeah. Well, what you're are you in a doing dangerous right corner over quarantine there. times? Yeah, you're in a dangerous corner over there. So, you know, uh, yeah, your skills know. have to be sharp. <laughs> yeah i know i know for sure what are you doing um, during this time i uh kind of the same as you i've been trying to get outside when i can in terms of exercising um and uh get a little sunlight get a little vitamin d in yeah and other than that just trying to stay in shape uh read some books play a little keyboard uh play a little cod yeah um, so when are you, you releasing your first song here say it again you're releasing a new song here or something oh yeah well we'll see We'll yeah, see. you There's should. Always you new should. Music coming out. High end talent. DL, oh, I'd like to listen to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll yeah. play it for you sometime, maybe. Yeah, love that. Love that. Yeah. Um, but no, it's been good. What's uh? So, what's your schedule been like? What's what's been the biggest change to your schedule since this whole deal started? Well, usually our our normal days are like pretty busy during the mornings, but right. um, I mean, right now, just trying to sleep in a little bit. Um, trying to well, as you said, try to stay in shape and try to go for jogs, trying to go for a little walk or something like that, enjoying the weather. And then i uh, been pulling through some, some shows and stuff during, well, during this time, just on the couch watching TV. Absolutely. What, what shows have you been watching? Uh, lately, it's been uh, White Collar, it's called. It's oh, sick. great show. Great yeah, show. What, what's what's season are you on? I'm actually in season five right now, so I'm pretty Ooh, far very in. Very nice. Yeah, I watched that entire yeah. show when I was in college. I love that show. Neil Caffrey. Yeah, it's unreal. It's unreal. Stuff, you're kind of you kind of like one of the main characters in there. I feel like. Who is? You. You kind of oh, look yeah? like Who? Neil Caffrey. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Does that make you Mozzie or what? Yeah, probably. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I or maybe you're Peter. 
No, I'll, I'll go with Mossy. I'll take You'll him. Go with Mossy. Mossy's a yeah. beauty. Yeah, he's a beauty. I'll take him any day. Um, so being a rookie, Leafs fans are just getting to know you. What's something about yourself that might surprise fans? Ooh, I lost you there for a little. Connection is pretty Sorry, bad. Okay, I'll um, say it again. Did you say uh, so, tell tell them something that that would surprise the fans? Yeah, exactly. What's something that most people don't know about you that's surprising? Uh oh, are you back? God, I'm losing you. But um, okay. Yeah, I'm back right now. I'm losing you a little bit. No, no I feel like it's better. All right. Okay. Last one time. more time. One last shot. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's something that would surprise you? Or no, what was – okay, here we go. What is something surprising about you that the fans would like to hear? What's something surprising about me? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty open, pretty open guy, no? Um, you are an open book. I know everything about you. Um. I don't know. Something surprising. Um, I don't know. Uh, I live by myself since I was 14 years of age. Nice. That's very surprising. That'd be one thing. We'll That'd be one thing that's probably a little bit surprising. We'll get to know something surprising about you maybe when we get onto our game a little bit later. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, what do you miss the most about playing in Toronto? Well, I miss you. Um, I miss all the boys. Miss yeah, I miss I miss all the boys for sure. Um, just the locker room hang, you know, getting around to the yeah. locker room, just sit in the locker room. Oh, sure. I mean, have some breakfast and all of that together. And, and um, yeah, that's about it. Like, you know, playing hockey, it's, it's just so much more than just going on the ice and practicing and playing games. You know, everything around it, just, I mean, it gets your day going. Um, it's just so Absolutely. many things you do with the rink that, that you don't really think about, I feel like, when you're there. But um, just everything, like all the yeah. guys playing, yeah. Absolutely. I. Uh, what about, um, aside from going to the rink, what are you most looking forward to doing when you get back to Toronto? And I think I might know the answer to this, but you give me your answer first. Um, well, I mean, I, I think it will be a little bit warmer this time when I get back. So that's one thing. Uh, to a, yeah. To a nice sunny Toronto. Um. I don't know. Um, <laughs> are you thinking about a restaurant or something? I'm thinking about a certain restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. I know which by. one you're talking about. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, 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 I don't even know what's it, what it's called. I know exactly called which Wilbur. one you're thinking about, though. It's called Wilbur. Shout out Wilbur. Uh, exactly. Great Definitely. Mexican food. Fresh. Yeah. Good shout out. Fast. Anyways, one of our favorites. Yeah, that's, we'll be there that's soon, definitely the hopefully. one. Yeah, yeah, soon enough. Very soon. Okay. Um, oh, and I actually have one question, too, that I just added in here personally. Who is your favorite defensive okay. partner from this year? Actually, no, who's your favorite defensive partner ever? Ever? Are you yeah. fishing for this one? No, not at all. <laughs> um, Answer carefully, no, actually, though. Yeah, no, I mean, you're definitely up there. Okay. Um, not, not just entirely because, the answer not, I was looking not just for, because, but okay. Yeah, not not just because you're sitting right there, but there's a. I mean, everyone you're playing with, especially now um, on the Leafs, I think all everyone is such good players. So it's you're just pretty much like you, you'd enjoy playing with everyone. So Absolutely. I feel like that. Um, so I'd say, I mean, I, I I was paired up a little bit with Tyson and also with uh, CC. So. Um, I mean, I I love both playing with both of them. So, but I'm I'm yeah, gonna no. have to say all all of you, guys, all the whole decor is great to play with. I agree. I think it's more about learning each other's nuances and kind of developing the chemistry more than it is about uh, who's better. You know? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, okay, well, great answer. That was the diplomatic answer. Are, are you still in Toronto, by the way? What's that? Are you still in Toronto? No, I'm in Minnesota now. Oh, you're back in Minnesota? I'm back in Mini. So, well, hopefully... How is it back there? Minnesota. Is it cold? No, it's actually really hot. I got sunburned the other day. I was, uh... I went for a bike, and all of a sudden I got burnt. So, I don't know. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it was great. Um, okay. So, now we're going to play Two Truths and a Lie. Two Truths and, and a I Lie. I got to grab my sheet of paper here real quick. So, I wrote down 
Dude, I promise. I've been, I've been trying to figure something out for this. So I'm going to throw a curveball back to you. So okay. first, we're doing uh, two truths and a lie. And then we're doing two lies and one truth. Okay. You're putting me yeah. on the spot, but I can do it. You're putting me on the spot. Okay, no, I'm you're, a creative, you're a creative guy, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, you want to go first? You tell me your two truths and a lie first. Okay. Okay. Okay, like so. You. Okay, here we go. Um, I have a brother. Okay. I scored my one and only NHL goal against the New Jersey Devils. Okay. And I got a soccer game canceled. Um, well, I know this one, and you're lying. You did not score against the New Jersey Devils. You scored against the National Predators. That's right. Bar down. Bar down. <laughs> Bar down, baby. But, yeah. Well, he's counting. Yeah. Um, yeah okay, so, but what was the last one? You got a soccer game canceled? Yeah. What happened there? So, me and my team were actually in Norway playing, and this was a pretty, pretty important game as well. So, we started the game. Um, I think we were under, like, 3 nothing or something, and we had to win this game to go to the playoffs. And we were under 3 nothing, and I was playing hockey at the same time. We were just allowed to hit each other and stuff. Yeah. So, I brought full hockey game out of the soccer field. Like, I was hammering people. <laughs> And I was stepping on guys, stepping on guys' shoes and everything with the soccer stuff on. And I hurt a couple of players, so they didn't have players enough to put, finish the game. So they left walk over, and they were so pissed. So we won 3 nothing and went to the playoffs. You're a goon. What can you say? Yeah. You play the same way you play <laughs> hockey, you know? Yeah, I got I to take the role that they offer, so. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. A tough guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, all right, now I'm going to give you my two truths and a lie. Okay. Okay. One, I have a boxer dog. Two, I have Swedish ancestry. Three, tennis is my favorite sport other than hockey. Okay, well, I know the third is definitely true. I think you you play a lot of okay. you play a lot of tennis and you're I heard rumor yeah, says you're a decent tennis player as well. What was the second one? I, I lost you a little bit there. The second one was I have Swedish ancestry. Um, no, I'm going to have to say that the first one is, uh, is correct as well. I have a feeling you have that dog. Ooh, it's actually not correct. Is it not? Jesus. It's not correct. Exactly. I, um, I don't currently have a boxer dog, but we're scheduled to get a boxer dog in two weeks. So I'm very excited. Uh, oh, okay. It's going to be awesome, but we don't have one yet. But I do have Swedish ancestry. Okay. My mother's maiden name is Lampson. Really? So you call it Lamson or something, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you told me this before. You told—I think you told me this during a cup of coffee in the in the lounge. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm. I'm yeah, you were trying to listen to all the Swedes and trying to talk to us. Exactly. I'm a little bit hurt that you don't remember it, but at least you do now. Yeah, you you feel like a good Swede, so. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So you give me your next ones now. Okay, so we're going two lies and then one truth now. Uh huh. Okay, so I got a tattoo. Yep. I have a dog. Okay. And the third is I used to ride a horse when I was younger. I'm gonna say you don't have a tattoo and you don't have a dog. That's that's correct. That's correct, man. Uh, I know you too well. You can't hide anything from me. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I know. I know. I need to stop talking to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, here's my next ones, or my last ones. Two lies and truth, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, dessert is my favorite part of the meal. I have never been to Europe, and I've never gotten a speeding ticket. I feel like the true the truth is that you never got a speeding ticket. You nailed it. Yeah, I nailed it finally. Yeah, that was fantastic. I um, okay, great. I, tried it. I had to switch up one because you, you threw me through a loop there. Um, yeah, I know. I actually, That's I really what I wanted. Don't. Yeah, no, you you did it. I really don't yeah, like dessert. Did. Hate dessert. Yeah. Really? And um, I have been to Europe. So yeah, I figured. I figured. 
Yeah. So you nailed it. That was great. Perfect. Um, and now, at this point, we're going to have show and share, a very special show and share. With show and share? Memorabilia, I understand. What were you saying there? It's time for the show and share. Okay. So it's going to be a very special show and share. I understand we have some great memorabilia. Um, <laughs> all right. Certain tournament. So this is all always up here. This is always up here. I'm going to pull it up for you. This is a nice little – from the tournament we played over the New Year's. Oh, yeah. Team Sweden. I, I don't hate that. shoulder. I don't hate, I don't hate the Team Sweden. I don't, I don't hate the Team Sweden team. <laughs> the yeah. Team Sweden team. Yeah. That's it. Um, I mean, we played the semifinals, went to the overtime, and guy rounded me a little bit and scored on us. So we uh -oh, had to be Sam, happy with this little it. guy. You stopped it. We were actually yeah, watching that game in the, uh, in the meal room. And for those of you who don't know, Sandy had three goals, ten points, fifth overall in scoring. Is that good? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and the tournament's top defenseman also named the World Junior All-Star team. So, uh, Got it right here. You guys can do the Got math. Right here. Pretty sweet. Yeah. You guys can do the math. If that's that's my little show and share. Yeah. Well, that was uh, – No, I was lucky. Was I was lucky. Yeah, you're like sure. me, right? Like you, you get a, you get a pass, and you're trying to one time, and you just close your eyes and just w wish for the best. Yeah, exactly. Just fire it. Except it goes in for you. Yeah, yeah. And I was just yeah, just pure luck that it w those went in. So I'm still happy yeah, about exactly. those. I mean, I, I felt like a sniper for once. Yeah. Well, you are a sniper. I saw you go bar down not too much. Though, <laughs> so it's great to see. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, Sandy. Um, you're great. Uh, I miss you. Hopefully, we'll see you soon in Toronto. And uh, thank you. I miss else, you too. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And uh, thank you to all the uh, people on the front lines, medical professionals, everyone that's working to get this situation eradicated as soon as possible. Everyone else, let's do our part, and uh, we'll get back to normal soon. So, uh, thanks again, Sandy. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. See ya.